What is up and welcome back guys. Today we're going to be working on both the Subarus. It's going to be just kind of a random vlog, I'm pretty sure. So, first of all, it's nice to see both of these on the road again. Uh, if you guys didn't watch the last video, we got the Project Daily tuned, we got it home, and it is freaking awesome. Anyway, so today I think the first thing we're going to do is work on the Forester, actually. Um, so for the Forester, we're going to change out my winter tires that are still on there. Yeah, I know, it's a little, a little late for that. We're going to put on the stock rims because, well, I ain't got no money anymore after Project Daily. But we're going to put on the stock rims. I'm going to see if I can clean them up a little more. I've been trying some Iron X and stuff, and it's been working not too bad. So we're going to clean these guys up and put them on, take off the winters, and then we're going to clean Project Daily. It is due, or Project Daily. No, the Forester. Um, the Adventure Mobile. Um, we're going to clean that one up. We're going to not polish or anything, just give it a nice good clean um, because it hasn't been cleaned in probably two or three months. That's because I daily drive it and I kind of forgot about it um, and times are going real fast. So we got the pressure washer out. We're going to wash actually Project Daily after this, but I think Adrian's going to come and we're going to wash both our um, STIs so we can probably go for a cruise or something. Right now he's working on power steering pump stuff, I think. His power steering kind of just destroyed itself, so that's, that's a thing. But um, yeah, so let's hop on, per not Project Daily, the Forester, and start getting those wheels off. Now that I cleaned one of the wheel wells, so essentially I pulled the wheel off, or cleaned the wheel, pulled the wheel off, cleaned the wheel well, and now we're going to put one of the stock tires on. Um, so now we just got to do that four more times, so. And there we go, guys. We have the Forester back on its stock wheels. Um, they fill up, actually, fill the wheel gap a little bit better because they're not as small or as small of a sidewall. Um, I've got our soapy stuff getting ready so we can clean up the Forester, make it look a little prettier. Um, and then I think Adrian's gonna come and we're gonna wash his car. So I won't film too much of the Forester because, well, the Forester is slightly boring right now. Right now, it's gonna get better, don't you worry. I have lots of plans for this car, just not enough money to commit on those plans right now. But um, yeah, we're gonna clean this off. So I'll probably maybe not even do a time lapse. I don't know what I'll do. I'll do something so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, so it's ready to go. The w old wheels I cleaned up as we were going, as you guys saw, so they can go back in storage. And then I cleaned the wheel wells on the year, here and then cleaned the faces with some Iron X. And it worked really well. So there is some stuff inside still, but I'm not too picky. They are the stock wheels, so. Just a wasp. Look who made it. Adrian in his really loud car. Um, so we're gonna give it a clean because it's a little bit dirty, and then we can actually see what the, these new tires look like because he put them on when the car was dirty. So we really don't know what this car looks like with those new tires, but I'm sure it's pretty awesome. And then I think we might go for a quick cruise um, before that. Then I'll come back and wash my car while the sun kind of sets because it's a little warm now. <laughs> oh, another thing. Adrian um, changed his power steering pump, his power steering reservoir and his line to chase space stuff and like stuff he found at Rock Auto so it's supposed to be super wicked so oof oof that bay though ooh I like that so that's the reservoir oh that's actually really hot nice lines oh you can't put the cover any on anymore can you I never tried it on no neither do I look at that so so I'm using Adam's polish um, car soap in that foam cannon and it foams up amazingly <laughs> But then we do two bucket method with those two buckets and it actually gets pretty clean and then we'll dry it with a cloth or whatever. You still got some soap, use it up. And just like that, Adrian's car is now clean. It really helps when you have two people. Um, I was going around um, soaping and rinsing like using the wash mitt. Adrian was going behind rinsing um, with the pressure washer and then drying it. You can, do a, you can do a car in like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. But yeah, his car looks a lot, a lot better um, when it's clean, Adrian. <laughs> Is a bit better. 
But yeah, guys, check out those wheels. They look so good. <laughs> you have. Oh, and you know, classic Subarus, they always leak water from here. <laughs> if you guys own a Subaru with an STI wing, you know how much it just. You can't dry in there. Um, but Adrian's rear wheels are actually catching because they're just a little bit wide. Um, they're catching the edge of the tire and just rubbing it a little bit. So he's actually got a, they're cut already, but he's got to go in and just like tap them flush essentially. Or hey, you could take a baseball bat and roll it. Yeah, no. <laughs> no? Don't want to do that? Not ghetto. <laughs> Not ghetto as there's p pieces of tire sitting off. Like, <laughs> yeah, but there, his car is now nice and clean guys check this out i've been working for probably a couple hours the garage is clean there's like actually room to pull a car so we do have to or i have to go through the parts and stuff i'm figuring out what i need to throw away and what i'm going to keep i'm keeping tgvs probably in case anyone needs them but like most of the scrap metal can go the turbo is absolutely useless so we're not keeping that that can go um to the trash but there's now room to put Project Daily back in here. Um, so as I said, I was gonna clean Project Daily, but I think me and Adrian are gonna go cruise tomorrow. Um, so it's supposed to rain, and there's no real point in washing it to go drive it in the rain anyways. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to um, leave it like that for today. Um, it's actually supposed to rain all week, and I gotta drive it to Vex um, to get the road test, which means I need to put on the wipers, which means I'm gonna do that probably right now. Actually, what am I talking about? I'm just gonna drive it up here um, and then just spray it down and then drive it in. It's gonna have water spots, but it's just gonna get the dirt off because we got that beautiful um, sealant and wax on it. It actually comes off pretty easily. So we'll pull it up here, rinse it off, bring it in, and then I'll probably put the wiper arm, I'm gonna put one on um, probably, and then I think that's gonna be it. But since tomorrow is probably not gonna be enough to make a full video, I think we're gonna combine it because it's just a random Subaru vlog, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so I will see you guys after I do all this. Um, I will continue recording till tomorrow, so I'll also be doing that. So be prepared, the days are gonna change. Subi number one. So be number two. So we're gonna wash Project Daily now, um, or not wash it, we're just gonna give it a quick little rinse down because there is some dirt on the sides, but nothing really too bad. And then I'm also taking the floor mats out of um, the Fozzie and the floor mats out of the STI to clean. I was gonna clean the interior on the Forester, but I probably won't end up doing that tonight. But yeah, so that, there we go. So we have Project Daily all cleaned up and in the garage. I did a quick wipe down with some quick detailer um, just so there wasn't as many water spots. There is so, still some. I gotta figure out how to clean the tire letters. They're a little bit dirty, but other than that, looks pretty clean. Um, I also went ahead and you guys can't see them, cleaned the Forster floor mats. And then I cleaned the STI floor mats they are sitting over there. And then I just took the vacuum and vacuumed in both of the cars to make sure that they were semi-clean. So really the only thing left is I'm going to take some armor roll and wipe down the interiors of them and then put the wipers on um, Project Daily, then that should be it. So I'm going to quickly do the wipe down. You guys have seen me a million times. I did a video on my quick 15 minute detail. It should be up one of these places. I don't know, it was such a long time ago, but I'm still following that exact same routine. So it hasn't changed. So we should be done that and then I will meet you while we're doing the wipers. There we go. The Forester is all done. I put the mud flaps back in and I just moved it back on the driveway. And now it's time to put the wipers on. Um, I put the hood up because I thought it might be easier, but we'll have to see. So I have one of the wipers here. I don't have the other, so I'm gonna grab it and then we can go from there. But I'm pretty sure, hopefully it's kind of self-explanatory and hopefully I have the hardware. We will see in a second, I guess. That's a problem, we only have one of the clips, so I'm gonna do a quick check. Oh, and this one's broken, so I don't even know if this is gonna work, but I will see and do a quick check and hopefully we have the other one, we'll see. I found the nuts and I found the two plastic clips. I do wanna try something though, um, we'll try it for today, um, is put just the big wiper and kind of do the little stancy thing. I know it's kind of funny and stupid, but we're just gonna do it for tomorrow and then we'll put the second one on to go get it dyno tuned and then we'll probably end up taking them both off in the end. So based off of my understanding, the short one go, the short wiper goes on the long arm and the long one goes on the short arm. So we're gonna try that and see how it goes. Um, don't know the direction though. This way? It took a minute. 
but I got it. I don't know if I am uh, like the look or not. It's kind of like touring car, which this isn't, but it works. Um, it actually hits perfectly here. I'll actually turn it on for you. Um, but yeah, that's just the single arm. We just moved it up a little bit, put the big blade on there. So it covers the whole windshield and it's kind of got the touring look. Okay, here it goes. So let's see where it hits. So it goes all the way across, so I mean that's good. But don't mind the low oil pressure because the car's not on. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting. We'll rock with it today, or well, today, um, this video, but we'll see what we want to do after that. Anyways, that is going to be it for um, today, but not it for this episode. So as I said, we're going to go um, actually go cruise with Adrian. That's why I put the wiper on because it's supposed to rain. Um, but I think me and Arthur are going to go cruise with Adrian um, and maybe go get some bubble tea or whatever. And it wasn't enough to make a full video, but it was enough to actually um, make put in a video. So that's what we're going to do. So I'll see you guys um, tomorrow, probably somewhere in Calgary.